Let's get right into it as over the last couple months, the Acai Linux team has been struggling as two main maintainers have officially stepped down, including Hector Martin and Acai Lina. So it's been hard on the team to not only continue development, but also fill those voids as those were big members of the Acai Linux team. Acai Linux brings Linux to Apple Silicon. They changed up their project on how exactly it's managed with a project governance board now that includes seven different people. The big news, however, is bringing Linux to Apple is getting much harder now, especially with the M4 chips. When comparing them to the M1 and M2, the Acai Linux team, which has successfully reverse engineered some of the Apple hardware for Linux support, found that Apple just recently made a technical change on how the M4 boots which is going to give them major issues. Not only that, but with the M4, it also changed the way that they handle secure environments. This of course matters to Linux as the team is trying to get Linux working on Apple Silicon hardware natively. And with Apple trying to consistently create things that are more locked down, it's going to delay and set back the team even further. As Sven Peter here says, looks like M4 support for Acai Linux is going to be rather painful. We're still focusing on upstreaming the M1 and M2 support, but with other people having been trying to bring up M1 N1 on M4, and it looks like a few things have changed. When configuring a macho boot object, we now get dropped into an environment where Apple's SPTM is running in GL2, and we're supposed to talk to it from EL2 with MMU already enabled to set up page tables. This neither works for Linux nor for running XNU under our hypervisor to reverse engineer the new hardware. Ouch, what a blow for the Acai Linux team, especially after losing two of their major maintainers and members. What will the future look like for this team? It's uncertain at the moment, but wishing them the best either way. Good luck trying to reverse engineer Apple's closed source and proprietary systems.